you, you play this allegro aperto part very well in general. Maybe at some point later I can make a few more suggestions. What I have really a question about is adagio. Is this, this sound you were making, it was a little bit too present, too real. It's such a magical moment when you play... through the mic I'm trying to play as as transparent as gentle as possible I don't know what's happening there but I'm trying to make the point but this is has to be like a dream like an orchestra playing the point yeah and gives us the sense of the direction and the tempo we shouldn't play too slow too fast because there's a, those 30 second notes there mm -hmm. So can you, it's, 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 it's a very special sound. It has to be without any force. Vibrato needs to be, shouldn't be heard. It has to be very focused. And just to create. So it's, it's not just um and very transparent with one hair on it. So there's a ringing sound. It has to be like a little heartbeat or I don't know, sound beam. You have to really physically even feel that sound to make mm -hmm. it happen because you cannot demand your finger to vibrate faster it's not about faster but it's about finding some over overtones also that uh, This is what is important in Mozart. Never try not to. I'm not saying you're doing this, but uh, there's a little breath always. Uh, so only when uh, um, in horns are, are coming here um, a few times. So that we have to balance when they come in. Usually, unfortunately, very often uh, out of the character we're trying to create, but uh, at least we're trying to engage them in playing something within piano. It's all piano dynamic. All orchestra is playing piano. It's very transparent. And only when they, they, they end, at the end, the end, one bar. <laughs> the last bar uh, orchestra has forte so when you play him <laughs> and the trill also can be considered as a timing because the moment and then allegro aperto which was really good when you started playing. But to make the contrast in adagio, try to find different sound.
I felt the great, great difference. I felt it even through the couple hundred miles. Uh, you, you're in Utah right now. Yeah. Yeah. It was beautiful. Just one, uh, um, two observation because it was great already. I felt the difference. So um, from the beginning right away, the sound needs to come. And I think it shouldn't be preparing the next note. Maybe here because orchestra, you have to give you the orchestra up least. Mm -hmm. But uh, almost without any end end of the note, it's where we need to try to create an extra impulse of the sound, not to not to drop what you beautifully started here. It's going especially here. The bow changes and finger preparation. It's always when I practice this, I understand that it has to be an extra effort because this is an obstacle. We don't want to hear bow changes. We don't want to hear stop. If, vib if we vibrate, it shouldn't stop uh, between the notes. We want to create the, the and the last note shouldn't die because orchestra still continue to play whatever they play. And, then, and second thing I wanted to tell you, you did it beautifully, but you more like you al illustrated Mozart articulation. You did um, you did it right, but like an, an, an academic, <laughs> not like a performer. Uh, And especially the second time it's on. It is going uh, Maybe here I would bring up the phrase. Um, why? Because orchestra. It's the highest point of the violins. Right. So perhaps uh, not, not this part, but... Yeah. And then... You did the other way around, which I also yeah. used to do. <laughs> I also, uh, and I remember, I think, I think it was one of my teachers who, Viktor Tretikov suggested, I think. Although for the most things in this concerto, it brings memory of my teacher in St. Peter, one of my really close uh, person up to these days, Mikhail Bizvirchny. And I remember his uh, shivering sound, which really, um, mesmerized me from listening to this incredible effortless the sound which was, was absolutely endless and it was just a, a magic coming out of the instrument that i remember inspired me in this in concert up to this day but i think uh, Vito tretikov suggested very good ideas about how to phrase and not to repeat the same thing here <laughs> Even orchestra starts from this point. Um, such an unexpected twist. Although again, horns are there, so they might spoil everything, but hopefully not. So, um, such a incredible, you know, only Mozart could create this kind of magic.